friends, it's Melissa in Minnesota and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to do a description and review of what I'm currently using in my shower that work for me. Uh, the FDA has uh, kind of labeled or allowed things to be labeled gluten-free if they're 20 uh, ppm's, parts per million, and they consider that safe for someone of the celiac or gluten intolerance uh, world. And I found that I had issues. I'm if you watched any of my past videos, I have labeled myself a canary in a coal mine, which means if there is any gluten in a product, I have had severe reactions to. I'm at the extreme end of uh, the, the scale, and those products tend to have an adverse side effect on me. So most of the products that I will use, I've been using for three to six months so far. They're completely safe for me, and uh, I've had no issues or reactions to them. And uh, again, everyone has a different sensitivity level, and the fact that uh, everyone has different allergens, I would suggest that you uh, check with your doctor first, because I'm not one. These are just products that I, again, I've said work for me. And if you have different allergens, you want to check the ingredients list for those to make sure they aren't there as well. So uh, with that being said, the first items I'm going to start with are shampoos and conditioners that I'm currently finding work for me. And then I'll give you a little bit of a review on each, uh, what I think of them. So if uh, anyone knows, um, I started out with I'm Melissa in Minnesota, and we are even though it is almost April, we are still in winter and it's still harsh and it's cold here. Uh, it can get really, <laughs> really extreme in the in the winter months as far as temperature variations. So uh, during the winter months, I find that my hair tends to get a little more uh, dry. And so the products that I have find that work, I have the um, that the Andalou Naturals, the Argon and Sweet Orange Shampoo. I also have the conditioner for that. I like these products because they do have the Argon, so they are extra moisturizing. But sometimes I find, or I have used in the past, products that had Argon oil in it. I have a lot of hair, but my hair is fine, and it is naturally straight. Sometimes Argon oil can be very heavy. It can weigh down here, and I like this product because it's moisturizing with the argon oil, but it's not overly uh, heavy. So these products work really well for me. If you have hair types like mine, then that might work for you as well. Again, completely gluten-free. Uh, they have I've had no issues with that, and I will stress I am on the extreme end of that sensitivity level. So again, if there is a trace of gluten in a product, I will have a reaction to it. And these I've had and have been using with no reaction whatsoever. Uh, during the winter months, um, since I was diagnosed with uh, gluten intolerance in 2013, my skin, my hair, everything has changed. Never in my life have I had flaky scalp before, and this winter I have. Of course, it's been really extreme and harsh, cold, dry air here. But uh, the Desert Essence, uh, someone, when I did research, I read that uh, tea tree oil, uh, actually helps with flakiness. So this is the Lemon Tea Tree Shampoo by Desert Essence. Uh, it is a clarifying for oily hair, but I don't find that um, it dries out my hair. Now, I do use the Bamboo, and it's an anti-frizz conditioner. This is really moisturizing. Uh, this is by Alterna, and I actually found this on Sephora.com, and I'll put all the links below. Most of these products I found off of Vitacost, but this one I did find on Sephora, and it can be found at different online stores, and you might find it in your area in a store as well. So, um, But I do follow this because it does say um, for the clarifying for oily hair, and I don't have oily hair, so I do follow up with this to make sure that it does not dry out my hair. But this has worked extremely well for alleviating flakiness on my scalp. So this is a really great product. It is lemon. Does not smell like a um, a lemon cleaning product, which I have another product that has lemon, and I'll uh, stress that a little more. But I really like this for uh, my hair, and it works really well for that. Uh, the product I'll go ahead and say the other lemon product that I have is the it's a shampoo, body wash, and bubble bath. I do not use this as a shampoo because I have the other uh, shampoos that I like better. This is the Everyone Soap for everyone and everybody. And this is the, oops, sorry, 
This is the coconut and lemon uh, scent that I have in this. I like this. There's just a trace amount of coconut, not that fake coconut uh, smell, so that works really well. And the lemon in this, again, does not smell. I mean, sometimes you find a lemon body product or hair product, and it smells like straight up household cleaner. And this, it has a, I, I doesn't say, but I think a touch of vanilla in it, so it mellows that lemon smell out. Sometimes when I use this, it smells like angel food cake to me. But the lemon in here, I would say, it smells more like if you smell or know what lemon curd, like in a, a lemon donut, you know, the filling that's in that, it smells more like that. So that's kind of where that trace of vanilla uh, comes in, I think. So wonderful product. On this, I am right here on the on the product about halfway uh, gone and this will be one of the products that I will make sure I have a backup of because I, I do love it so much it's not over moisturizing but it is a little moisturizing works really well as a body cleaner I like that it has uh, natural plant-based soaps uh, or it is a natural plant-based soap and it has pure essential oils in it so I like this for more of a natural type of body wash in my shower, I do like in the morning to cleanse my face. The product that I'm currently using is the Desert Essence Thoroughly Clean Face Wash. This has the tea tree oil in it as well and the uh, sea kelp. And it's, again, all the products that I'm um, showing you are completely gluten-free. This product also does not have, um, it doesn't have uh, glycols or artificial fragrances, mineral oils, um, SLS, which uh, tends to um, cause things to lather up, but it does have a lather to it, so you don't have to worry about that. Sometimes things that don't have a, a that suzzing factor won't lather up. But this one does really well, and it does not test on um, no animal testing and no animal derived product or ingredients that are in this. So I like this for that. The tea tree oil helps. Again, I will say that being in Minnesota, the winters get extremely dry and really cold. And since let's see, I was diagnosed in 2013 in January with uh, gluten issues and my skin completely did a complete change, I don't have what I consider combination skin because my skin type can change from week to week. I do get oily in my T-zone except for on my chin and it can get really dry. I've been using this product for the last two months and I found that my skin has evened out and it's not so either end of the scale. So this has really worked. I think the tea tree oil, because the tea tree oil is in the shampoo and it kind of um, is supposed to help with flakiness, so that probably works for this. But you would think with a product called Thoroughly Clean, it would be a product that would tend to dry out um, your face, but this is for normal skin. So I, even though I have those either end of the scales, the normal skin product works really well and it's actually evening out my complexion and my uh, skin type. So I really like this product. Uh, in the, for ladies in the shower, we like to exfoliate and we also like to shave. So a product that I found works for really great for um, exfoliation is the C or the Shea Moisture. It's the olive and the green tea. It's the body scrub and it's an anti-aging and ultra moisturizing. Uh, this does have olive oil in it, but even though it says moisturizing, sometimes I found that with olive oil scrubs, I mean, it could be like an oil slick in the bathtub and you kind of have to be careful. This product I like because it doesn't excessively have that uh, olive oil in it and it works really well and is moisturizing because sometimes I get out of the shower, I don't need a moisturizer afterwards and I like that. I like double duty products. You know, give me something that's going to work for multiple tasks and this works really well for that. And as I stress for shaving, a gluten-free product that I found and they do not say gluten-free on the bottle. I have called the company, written the company. I like to do that double duty just to make sure to see what kind of uh, uh, response I get. And this has been really well uh, a product that has worked and I have had no reaction to this. It's the EOS, the Evolution of Smooth, the Shave Cream. And it's another deep moisture product. And uh, it's in the Vanilla Mint Bliss. And I like this because it's not not a sudsy product this is almost like a lotion and it is very moisturizing so those are the products that i'm currently using in my shower this is kind of like shower power hour <laughs> uh, but i hope that you saw something that maybe will work for you and if you have any questions please uh, leave those in the comment section below 
If you tried any of these products, let me know what you think. If there's anything that you found that works for you, I would love to hear that. Uh, again, I did stress that uh, I do have trouble finding products like this in my area sometimes, and I do shop at Vitacost. They work um, wonderful. They have uh, sales and different uh, promo codes that they have. I will link down below that uh, if you're a first-time shopper, you can get $10 uh, off of your first purchase. I will link that below, and then also where I got these products from, and most of them are from Vitacost. So hope everyone has a wonderful day, and uh, see you later. Bye.